and we're live. Okay, Dave Chappelle. Yes, yeah, just, uh, we all watched it. Yeah, we did. I the whole world said it wasn't that funny, and I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was funny. It has I really was good audience by the story at the end. Oh, did it? Yeah. I feel or like the, the tomato meter, um, like like the critics hated it, but like the audience scores ninety five. Like people like. Okay. Yeah, I watched it in uh, in Colorado the other day. Uh, we watched it as a group again, mm-hmm. really bugging high, and um, I liked it a lot. I did not like that whole story at the end. I liked it. Carry on. Well, you know what? I just realized the reason I didn't like it is because like I was getting invested in it because this is a really sweet story, and then. Fish gets on his phone next to me, finds out what the end of the story is, and then yells it into my ear. (laughs) Why would he do that? What an asshole. (laughs) Wow. And like, I'm trying not to spoil it intentionally for people who I hope will Mm. watch uh, Dave Chappelle's special. If you haven't yet, it's on Netflix, obviously. But it was one of these things where like, imagine that like we were watching Star Wars and, and, and he just goes, that's his dad. <laughs> <laughs> it was Damn like, it, he kind of did that like three minutes before uh, the actual scene. Um, <laughs> so uh, that, maybe that killed it for me. But <laughs> that is a good analogy. I, I like the the uh, the special in general. I thought it was funny. I thought that he, uh, he he's very good at defending himself and making his points well. The whole mm-hmm. thing about um, oh I I forgot because I'm high. But it was the, it was something about how like. It was less of a news story. Uh, how you could kill a black man and still have a career, but you can't make fun of a gay person and still have one. That was <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. had a lot of good jokes in there. I enjoyed it. the The story was good. It just like as far as the pacing, like like the first like half of it when it was more like traditional like jokes and everything. Like at least half a dozen times, I laughed out loud. Like the the misdirection. I won't say it or anything, but the the space Jews bit in the beginning, that misdirection, that was hilarious. Like it was really, really funny. It and the story at the end was good too. It's just it almost felt like disjointed because it was like high tempo, like joke, 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 joke. And then it like became just a like story telling it, which was a good story. It was interesting. It kept my attention. And I the whole time like I was watching it. Like he would say a controversial joke, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's a uh, controversial in 2021 saying that. But I kept waiting for like, where's the big boom gonna be? Where's the big boom that everybody's so furious about? And I got to the end of it, and it's like, oh, people are just being fucking ridiculous about this, like being like hyper offended at him. Like, I I expected something like huge that like he would say would be totally you know in these people's minds out of line, but like. No, it, it seemed like a good stand-up special. He said he's taking a huge break after this. Uh, and I, something I've always liked about him is like he just he does whatever he wants. He'll, he'll leave he'll leave money on the table. Joe like Rogan he, does that too. Yeah, and so that that endears him to me. So overall, it was a good special. I liked this special more than the previous two ones on Netflix. I did those didn't uh, make me laugh as much as this one. So I would I would agree well, with the audience score. That- did he, was he talking about a woman when he was he was talking about someone having a Joe Rogan neck? Yeah, <laughs> which is very funny. <laughs> yeah, I want to say I don't. I'm I think not gonna he was talking about jokes. like a trans woman having a Joe Rogan neck. <laughs> <laughs> and that's such like a 2021 reference, Joe Rogan's neck. Like, <laughs> or I guess it could be the last uh, five years. No, I, yeah, I dug it. I, it was I, I liked it. I agree with you. I think it was the better of the the last three specials. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, there were several points where he was like. Might be a while before y'all see me again. <laughs> Rogan was talked like, about Chappelle and said that he was kind of laying low, waiting for the heat to pass, and it's mm-hmm. like, which implied to me that it bothered him. It was funny. He said in the show a couple times, like, you know, I hear this stuff, and it gets to me. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Because you think that when the paycheck's big enough that they become invulnerable to negative feedback, mm-hmm. but that's not how it works. Yeah, I yeah, think he needs more is. money. You know, I, I think that he just wants people to like what he does. 